Hello and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Stephen Neal, and this is the first SUV from the Maserati stable and packs quite a punch. Say hello to the Maserati Levante. It is named after a Mediterranean wind that can change from a calm breeze to a stormy wind in an instant. Can this SUV also do the same? Well, we are here to find out. So let's go and drive it. Before we go ahead and drive the Levante, let's talk a bit about the design. The Levante is not your average SUV. It comes from a brand with racing and grand touring pedigree and that shows in the very design it carries. One would struggle to find any flat or boxy surfaces. It's got curves all over and it has an aggressive design. The Levante has a unique stance. When viewed by itself, it looks like a grand tourer on stilts. But in reality, it is a proper full-size SUV and this is a very tricky illusion. Up front is the famous Trident Maserati logo. It's really huge and grabs one's attention right up front. Also above it, you've got the front camera for the 360 degree view. We'll come to that in just a bit. Uh, right above the grille is a chrome strip that runs all across the hood. And you've got an eight slat vertical grille up front. You've got a black a bumper lip and at the sides on either side of the grille you've got this LED matrix headlamp uh, it's got a unique look to it it looks angry even uh, the chrome in the headlamp isn't really chrome it's got a dark tint to it which gives it a different look a unique look uh, and that makes it look great in fact uh, also it's got a circular fog lamp with chrome surrounds as well so that pretty much sums up the front uh, it looks fantastic. The same sporty theme is carried on on the side profile as well. You have these 20 inch multiple spoke alloy wheels that look extremely great. They're finished in this shade of silver that complements the blue shade of the car really well. Also, you've got these signature four intakes or sills from Maserati. They are seen on all Maserati cars and it looks great on the Levante as well. Also, you've got the Grand Sport badging right here that tells you what variant it is. Uh, it's got a large rear view mirror that complements the size of the vehicle. The door handles are made of chrome as well and so is the window sill that's finished in chrome as well. Maserati has made it a point to plonk another logo at the rear as well. The same trident of course. And it's got a sloping roof line that makes the SUV look more sporty. The sleek and sporty theme is carried over to the rear too. Right up, you've got the shark fin antenna, you've got a spoiler and you've got these sleek tail lamps split tail lamps in fact I'll show you in just a bit you've got the chrome lip right here and you've got the Maserati badge right there also you've got a fob bash plate and quad exhaust outlets at the rear when it comes to the boot space the Maserati Levante makes it pretty easy to load up all you have to do is swing a leg underneath and well the tailgate opens up it's got 580 liters of boot space and also since it rides on air suspension the car lowers the rear end when you open the tailgate of course, it's power operated and you've got controls for the same here as well. So you want to close it, you just press this button here or you can again swing a leg there and it closes again. So that's about the rear end of the Maserati Levante. It's time to get inside the Maserati Levante and check out what it has to offer. And this creates a sense of occasion frameless doors you get it at the front and the rear too so let's jump inside the interior of the Maserati Levante is filled with Italian flair and feels grand right from the moment one steps into it sure it might not be as neat and tidy as some of its German rivals but it feels grand and celebratory this particular car is decked in a red and black dual tone leather upholstery you've got soft touch fabric everywhere you've got leather everywhere in fact even on the dashboard uh, now taking center stage on the dashboard is this analog clock 
that gives it a sense of occasion. Uh, right beneath it is the 8.4 inch touchscreen infotainment system. It comes with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and a whole list of features. You can control a lot of settings from here, a lot of vehicle functions including the driver's seat heating, passenger seat heating, the ventilation. Uh, you've got controls for the media, for the Bluetooth, for the radio and the list goes on and on. Now the screen is flanked by uh, two vertical AC vents. Right beneath it are the controls for the uh, climate control and air conditioning. The center console too looks really attractive, again finished in dual tone, you've got piano black finish all around the gear lever and right next to the gear lever you've got the various buttons for the drive modes and also for the stability control. Also you've got this knob right here to control the touchscreen in case you're not comfortable using the touchscreen while driving you can use the knob and the selector button to control it. And right behind that you've got this, you press this and you've got a cubby hole for your storage needs and it is also ventilated. Uh, you've got another charger in there uh, where you can plug in uh, say a phone charger or even a refrigerator that's left to you. That's all about the interiors of the Maserati Levante. Now it's time for us to talk about the instrumentation. It's handled by an analog digital unit. Uh, you've got a 7 inch screen in the middle that displays a whole host of features. Uh, you've got multiple modes, you've got the trip meters, you've got the cruise control, you've got the distance to MP, the average efficiency, the current efficiency, the drive modes and the list goes on and on. Now it is flanked by a speedometer to the left and a tachometer to the right and that just about wraps up the instrumentation. The steering wheel is nice and chunky, it feels great to hold, again it's leather wrapped. Uh, you've got the Maserati Trident in the center and also you've got paddle shifters to both sides of the steering wheel. The paddle shifters feel great. It, it, they are finished in one piece of aluminium and uh, there is one stock at the rear behind the paddle shifter uh, that controls the demisting and the wiper functions. On the driver's door you've got the buttons for the power windows and for the mirrors and well that pretty much sums up the cockpit and the interiors of the Maserati. We're in the back seat of the Maserati Levante and I must say it's a pretty spacious place to be in. Uh, you've got lots of legroom, lots of headroom, uh, despite the sloping roof line, you do not feel claustrophobic in here at all. Uh, in fact, you've got more than enough room to spare. You can even stretch your leg uh, as much as you'd like. You've got two AC vents here for the rear passengers. We ended up wishing that probably Maserati could have given us some controls for the AC back here, but there is none. Uh, also, right above it, you've got this hidden uh, slot where you've got a cigarette lighter slash 12 volt socket and also two USB ports to charge your smartphones. The seat back is made of soft touch plastic and at this price point we'd have expected a leather seat back as well. Also you've got this netted back pocket and uh, that too could have been done in a better fashion. But otherwise it's a really comfortable place to be in. Also you've got the handrest right here with cup holders in there. Cup holders are finished well, you've got the aluminium finished surrounds and also you've got a hatch in here to access the boot. This armrest is useful only if two of y'all are traveling and we do recommend only two to travel in the rear because three would be a tight fit. Besides being a tight fit on the seat, also the third person, the passenger traveling in the center would have difficulty in placing the legs thanks to the uh, transmission tunnel at the bottom and also the AC vents right here in front. Also you've got the headrests, the headrests are good, they provide good support to the head, they are very soft and also you've got the Maserati Trident embossed into them. Coming to the windows and the doors, well you've got these blinds, when the sun blinds right here and all you have to do to control them is use the same power window switch, you press it once and the blinds go down and you press it twice and the windows go down. Uh, pretty simple and yes that's the last bit to where the window gets. Uh, also you've got the aluminium finished door handles and the piano black trim in here as well and well that pretty much sums up the interior.
All right, we are driving the Maserati Levante. This is a 350 model. 350 stands for 350 PS. That is the engine's output. Now, let me give you a rundown on the engine specifications and what this engine is. Uh, before we go into how it feels uh, it's a 3.5 liter v6 twin turbo engine uh, it is made by ferrari so that should tell you quite a bit about it already uh, so 350 ps as i said earlier that translates to around 345 bhp and uh, it puts out around 500 nm between 1750 rpm and 4750 rpm the four wheels are driven by an eight speed uh, zf automatic gearbox it's got a q4 intelligent all-wheel drive system well that's the tech spec lowdown for you uh, but how does it feel to drive that's exactly where we're going right now so i'm in manual mode right now which brings me to the driving modes it's got three driving modes that is normal intelligent control and efficiency and sport uh, normal is well best reserved for your uh, trotting about the city and your urban areas uh, intelligent control and efficiency well that is great for your highway drives uh, it allows you more control over your suspension the comfort settings and also how the engine feels the engine feels uh, a little uh, reserved uh, so to say in the ICE mode but then sport mode that's where this car starts to come alive uh, in sport mode the engine becomes more growly so to say it the sound becomes more aggressive the suspension firms up uh, and also the engine throttle response increases by quite a bit let's go in sport mode now and see what it feels like so here we go sport mode and already it has shifted up a gear and we are in d mode right now i'm gonna shift it into manual and that's where i can use the paddle shifters the paddle shifters response also increases by quite a bit in sport mode and here's how the car goes and i'm already over 100 kmph so that's how quick this car is uh, just at the flick of a button it changes its mood its character everything you go straight from a leisurely drive to an explosive exhilarating drive that's how great the sport mode is and that's how quickly the maserati levante changes its character now let's talk about the handling the car rides on 20 inch wheels and they are shot with pirelli p0 tires now those who know motorsport those who know cars know that pirelli p0s are probably some of the best tires on earth in terms of grip of course on tarmac grip wise the tires grip like never before it just claws its way out of anything you can do to it on tarmac it corners brilliantly uh, in sport mode of course the suspension firms up also you've got a separate button on the center console here where you can shift it into sport suspension so once you press that the suspension goes into sport mode as well and uh, that firms up things quite a bit now i need to tell you we live in india of course and roads do get bad now and then when the roads do get bad the sport suspension doesn't help the passengers a great bit because the ride becomes really hard and every single pothole undulation on the road is felt inside the cabin you take it out of sport mode when you're in the city and the car soaks up the bumps pretty well for something that rides on 20 inch wheels that pretty much sums up the driving experience it does want you to get back to the driver's seat again and again and again uh, even though the rear seat is very comfortable and spacious this seat is where you'd want to be the maserati levante 350 isn't the most powerful version of the levante that you can buy if your bank permits you can have a more powerful version more sportier looking version if you'd like but then there's more to car buying than just power and price there has to be a great feel to it and that is exactly what the 350 offers it offers you frugality and practicality when you need it and when you press the throttle it goes like never before so that is exactly what the 350 is great for it's much like that mediterranean wind that it was named after levante calm breeze to stormy gale in a second well, that's the Levante 350 for you. Thank you for watching DriveSpark. Stay tuned and stay safe.